So for today's video, I'm going to show you the troubleshooting technique that I did in fixing our 24 volt low insulation. What are the do's and don'ts that you need to follow in fixing such critical system? Fixing the system requires planning and you need to inform the chief engineer and the captain with the situation that may happen. But before that, I'm going to share you the troubleshooting assistance that I did in one of our fellow ETO. The earth fault monitoring system installed in their vessel has only indicating light. Every time we flip the test switch, the end pole illuminates and the end pole will dim. So he was not sure about the condition of the system with that kind of indicating light. So here's the explanation. The indicating light that will be dimmed is where the line is causing the earth fault. That's why I made this simple experiment so that I can show it to you what is really happening during the time you flip the test switch. Both lumps are connected into series. And the test switch is connected to your ground. So once you flip the switch, then you will see which has a connection on the ground. Then that light will be dimmed. So let us now go to the troubleshooting of our onboard 24 volt low insulation. The most common earth fault that you will be facing on board is the 220 and the 440 volts. Whether the feeder panel is in your main switchboard or in your emergency switchboard. And the most common source are those which are actually exposed to the environment like your lightings and fixtures. So in finding the fault, you just need to drop off the breakers. And it is easy to do in 440 and 220 volts. My technique is to drop off all the breakers and then I switch them back on one by one. But of course, it would be a different case if you have a fault in your 24 volt system. In 24 volt system, you cannot just simply drop off the breakers. Because critical and essential equipments are connected into the 24 volt system. Critical equipment like your diesel generator control panel, the governors, some essential equipment connected to K4D distribution panel, and your main switchboard controls, of which the breakers cannot be switched off that easily, especially if the main engine is running. 
because if you drop off the breaker that is connected to the control system of your main engine, it may cause a slowdown or worse, blackout. So to solve the onboard situation, I categorize each breakers which can be switched off and which may not. It is also important to inform the second engineer and the chief engineer before touching anything. So I concentrated in the K4D panel which can be switched off and which cannot be switched off as well. And concentrated on those which may be prone into moisture or into contamination. I had experience before when we dropped off the GE oil mist detector panel, then the ship went into blackout. So I have decided to have a visual check in each and every system that is connected to the 24 volt system. Since generator number 3 and number 4 are connected into the system, I ask them to change over the running generators into number 1 and number 2. After the switch over, the alarm remains the same. I also did the visual check on each and every sensors and the control panel itself. Then I have decided to switch off the control panel. To switch off, you need to put the system into local and then you can drop off the breaker. So I did this for both the generators number 3 and number 4. And after doing that so, the condition remains the same. But I still kept the generator number 3 and number 4 into off position. Then I move on to the leak detector for main engine control oil, servo oil, and fuel oil supply unit. Until I found this one sensor. So I disconnected the power supply for this one until the system went back to normal. But the trouble did not end there. Because after switching back on the generator number 3, then the earth fault meter did a little bit of deflection. So I have checked each sensor one by one until I found this. This is the scavenge air temperature sensor. After disconnecting the wires, the system went back to normal. So I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you on my next video.